Hey guys, welcome back to this uh, episode. Or right, not welcome back. You haven't been here yet. Welcome to this episode. I'm your host, Garrett Smith, and today we're going to talk about adding a drop down menu to your Shopify store. Now, this can be um, an e this is an easy task to do or to perform, but it's kind of confusing for the beginner. It's kind of it's kind of confusing at first. I remember when I first started on Shopify platform, I was confused, and it took me a couple tries. So I'm gonna break it down step by step. So don't worry, it's gonna be easy. Well, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started now. Real quick before we get started, make sure to go follow me over on Instagram. It's Garrett C Smith. I'll see you there. So the first thing you want to do is start on your home page, and this is kind of like the starting point that I like to uh, always begin each process on is the dashboard. So what we want to do first is, uh, let me show you what um, we're going to accomplish today. And what I mean by drop down menu, and this, hopefully this is what you're looking for. So basically what we want to do is on this catalog menu, we would like to offer different types of products and uh, uh, collections or different, um, you just want to be able to click on this link and it, uh, give you a drop down menu. So you can navigate easily without uh, clicking a bunch of areas and getting sent to a bunch of different pages because we want to uh, eliminate clicks on our website. Okay, so if that's what you want, let's keep going. Now we're going to go over here to products. And first we have to set up the collections that we want to uh, to organize under the, um, under the link. So I'm going to go ahead and add a bunch of different collections. And I recommend you doing this too. So we're going to have one for this fake coffee shop. We're going to do bag coffee. And let me take the caps lock off. Bag coffee. I hit manual. So that way you can uh, organize what products will end up going into that collection. You can do that off in this menu. And we'll hit save collection. So all products that we add now that we want to go under bad coffee will go under this collection. All right, let's go back to collections. I'm just going to set up two different collections to drop down under that menu. Go to add a collection. And this one, I'm going to put uh, K-Cup. So K-Cup is like something that goes in the Keurig. Some people like to uh, white label those or um, let's see here. And you can do t-shirts. This could be like men's men's tops, men's shirts, men's hoodies. Uh, you could do anything that you want. But for this simple video, I'm going to show you two different collections. All right, so now that we have the collection set up, we need to uh, set up the menus. And look here, Shopify got, got fancy now. It says web storefront. It used to say online store. So if you're watching older videos, uh, don't get confused. Um, so now we want to go to navigation. And once this loads, um, it shows us our footer menu, our main menu. You probably already know what these are. I've gone over these in past videos. If you still need some uh, clarification, go ahead and check out some of my other videos. All right, so we want everything to fall under catalog. So when we click on catalog, we want it to drop down a menu. So in order to do that, we just need to create another menu and we needed to, to name it the same name as this link here or this button whatever you want to call it and if you look here there's a a walk through here that's not a video but you can follow this as well but so here's what we want to do go add menu I'm going to name it the exact same thing as the initial button and this will fall under under that button hopefully that makes sense and so now we need to name the collections or the buttons that are going to fall under the drop down menu or inside the drop down menu. So this one we're going to call it K cups. And here we're going to link it to a collection. Let me move this for a second. Okay, so now the collections that we've set up, we're going to go K cup. Bam, that's it. So we can add one more for the sake of the video and we're going to call this one bag coffee. And we're going to put it under a collection. And bag coffee. Make sure to save your save all your changes. And then now we're going to go back out to the home page of your uh, website, refresh it so all the updates are live. 
and see now you should have a drop down menu or a little arrow so bam now your customer can choose between what category or collection they want to shop from right from your home page so you could do this from your blog about us you can have drop down menus wherever you want just remember to name the button that's going to drop down the same as this button up here in the main menu all right guys i hope that was super helpful and um, if you guys want to see more of these type of videos for shopify make sure to subscribe make sure to like it because it helps me out and it makes me it lets me know that you want to see more of these um, in the next video we're going to go on we're going to start talking about apps different apps that will help you um, with your store manage it all right i'll see you guys in the next video